If you're looking for something fun to do for the holidays, check out the Holiday House on the Upper East Side. Top interior designers have taken over two huge penthouse apartments and created magic in every room. And all the money raised goes to breast cancer research. Let's take a tour. So it's important when you're designing an apartment to set the tone right away. And I think this foyer does just that. We use some bold black and white grass cloth on the wall to set the tone when you walk in. And we left the second part of the foyer and white paint so it looks more like a gallery. Interior designer Iris Dankner came up with the Holiday House 14 years ago after being diagnosed with breast cancer. I came up with this idea my love of interior design and my passion to eradicate breast cancer. So I thought Holiday House, because every day is a holiday after you have breast cancer. All the money from ticket sales goes to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And so far, Holiday House has raised nearly $2 million. Each year, it's held in a different building. This year, it's at the Kent on the Upper East Side, where 18 designers went wild with their imaginations, creating 18 stunning spaces even the terraces. Cindy, come out for a second. Wow. Look at the view <gasps> of this city. Oh my gosh. And I think the designer here wanted it to be functional yet fun. And she used mirrors to make sure everyone had a great view no matter where they're sitting. She wanted to reflect the, the city sky, mm -hmm. skyline, and she's also in love with New York, and this was just her way of saying, New York, I love you. Aww. You can sit out here. This is actual stove. What? Yeah, this is a stove kitchen. Um, you can have dinner, drinks, and even play a little cornhole. And what do we have over here? Oh, this is a live wall made out of moss. Oh, my goodness. And she even put a little pink moss as a, a call out to our breast cancer organization. The kitchens are beautiful. It's even tough to tell where the appliances are hidden. And you have a TV behind that mirror. Wait, you have a TV here? Here? Oh my gosh. I just thought it was a mirror. <laughs> It's just so sleek. And then he designed this area almost as if it's like a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Like your husband can sit here, read the paper, <laughs> while you could be there with your computer doing your work. Mm -hmm. This designer added the fireplace. Oh. And this beautiful light fixture. I also love what a designer did with this bathroom that's pure luxury. Designers go into the bathrooms, go into the closets, and create magic. Like, look at this bathroom. Every little detail from the sculpture to the towels, she really... To this, I love the seat. I like the chair. <laughs> I love the seat too, with the blue, with the matching mm -hmm. blue flowers. There's something for everyone at Holiday House, whether you like lots of color or you're more into neutrals. But what I've noticed about design trends, it's really do what you want to do. You love color? Go with lots of color. You want neutral? Go with neutral. There are no rules anymore. Just have fun with it. That's what I love. Or you put a big flamingo up. <laughs> And I think people are including in their designs the family mm -hmm. and the kids and just have fun with it. You know, the home, I think after COVID, the home is where we're really living. Speaking of kids, let's check out a baby nursery complete with storks all around. It's just, it's the tonal soft colors that bring this peacefulness to this room. And with the contemporary crib, with the loose site, it's just a new way of designing a nursery. Oh, that's interesting. So these are, these are loose site instead of the regular wooden? Correct. Ah. And what baby wouldn't like to see this view? I know, look at this. <laughs> Come into this children's room. What teenage girl wouldn't want to live in here? Oh Look at this. Look at all the fun details, all these things filled with all it's sorts of stuff. <laughs> candy? Candy? It's candy. Well, it's let them eat cake. <laughs> this was called dessert first, was ah. what she called this room. What teenager wouldn't want to eat dessert first? <laughs> Along with all the treats, an amazing mirror, and bunk beds. It's luxurious for a teenager. It is. And of course the phone, but you know what? The teenager wouldn't even know what this was. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You can visit the Holiday House through Sunday, December 11th. Tickets are $40. And to learn more, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. By the way, both penthouses are for sale. Each one goes for more than $11 million. <laughs>